Yes, yes, the king. Well, one of the kings, because I got a few kings out there, but he will go down in legend, legend history as one of the kings. Maybe, the, yeah, the first king. So, um, but not my only king. I'm gonna get that, I don't want to peep down the comments thinking Elvis is the only king, because I think Michael Jackson is a king, and then, you know, gotta have your, um, not pop king, because Michael Jackson would be pop, Brittany. And then you have to have your, um, he would be R&B. Then you have to have your R&B and your rap kings, and you know it's more kings than one, so yes. Elvis would be the first one to entertain, to bring the good performance, and just show out his style, his energy. Elvis Presley, burning love from Hawaii, you guys. Live in Honolulu, 1973, you guys. I wasn't even born until 19, 1992, you guys. Let's get straight into it. Yeah. Burning through my soap? You're that hot? Your temper is that hot? Girl, 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 you gonna set me on fire. My brain is flaming. I don't know which way to go. Yeah. You kiss a little bit like the sweet song of a choir. And you light my morning sky for burning love. You kiss and lift me high Like the sweet song of a fire And you light my morning sky And it's a burning love This is intense love, you guys. This is intense love. It's me all rowdy. <laughs> it's coming closer Chest is a heaving. Lord of mine, I'm burning a whole world. Cause you kiss me and leave me high. Like the sweet song of a choir. And you light my morning sky. I'm burning love. 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 though you guys <laughs> so that one was a nice one you guys that was Barney Glove so I felt like this was about this woman makes him intense I don't know if it's like a hot intense or like a breakdown of a like a breakup intense you guys um let's get some song facts but I was definitely digging this one if I was digging any other songs it would be this one you guys I was loving a few other ones you guys that he had but this would be it out of all the songs I have reacted to with the Elvis, you guys, I think this will be in one of my type five, my one of one of my top fives, you guys. And that's the songs that I have reacted to so far. So this was the Elvis' biggest hit single since the uh, Suspicious Minds in 1969. His last top ten hit in the American Hot 100 pop charts. This song is about the breakdown of a relationship. Had already featured on his self-titled 1972 album of the country, so pioneer Arthur Alexander. Through it had obvious um, potentials, Elvis had just separated from his wife and was not in the mood for a rock and roll number. So he wasn't keen to record it. Elvis' producer had to um, tell him it was worth trying. 
And after the sixth attempt, King of Rock and Roll came up with an inspiring tape. Okay, who wrote the song? And also provided the intro. Dennis, who wrote the song, and provided the intro by Nature, was at the time tagged Nashville's best kept songwriting secret. Um, as a part of the series release of a song in the UK in 2007, this re-re-entered re 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 the UK charts at number 13. In 2005, Australia, a woman who was eventually not a fan of this song stabbed her partner in the back. Thigh showed in pairs of scissors because he played the song too many times. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Elvis got people playing his song so much they get stabbed by the white though. So this you guys, this is Elvis Presley, you guys, burning the love, loving the vibe, loving the music, loving how he performed. They're all the amazing fans. And you know how he dressed. His style was just out this world, you guys. So shout out to Elvis Presley, rest in peace to one of the kings, you guys. Make sure you smash the like button if you guys are new. Hit that red one and welcome. Let's go, you guys. You bring me company.